Our second student talk this morning comes from two sixth form Valley Room students who have recently returned from CERN, the Centre for Nuclear Research in Europe, in Switzerland. You may have heard recent reports such as faster than light travel come from there. To talk you through this and their close encounter with the Hadron Collider, please welcome Neve Power and Oliver Harvey. We were lucky enough recently to visit CERN, the European Institute of Nuclear Physics Research, where leading scientists from around the world travel to conduct their research. CERN is also home to the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider is a 27 kilometer circular tunnel through which protons are accelerated at 99% the speed of light. That's 11,000 revolutions each second. These protons are then collided in four huge chambers which image the particles that are formed. These collisions replicate the conditions one billionth of a second after the Big Bang. One of these photographing chambers is called Atlas, which we visited while in Geneva. Atlas is huge. It's half the size of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris and weighs about the same as the Eiffel Tower. 174 universities from around the world send PhD students and professors to help analyze the data of 30 million proton collisions each second. Each year, Atlas records over 3,200 terabytes of data. That's equivalent to 600 years of songs or 3 billion books. Each year, this data is then recorded on over 100,000 computers worldwide. At CERN, they're also looking to find the Higgs boson particle. This particle is theoretically responsible for why objects have mass. So far, they've been unsuccessful in finding this particle. However, if they find it, it will be a great breakthrough. But if they don't, a lot of modern physics must be rewritten. Some of the scientists we spoke to at CERN saw this as a good thing, as it would reveal completely new areas of research. You may have heard in the news recently about the neutrinos from CERN traveling faster than the speed of light. Currently, scientists around the world are checking these results for possible errors, and there are plans to repeat the experiment in the near future. If these results prove to be correct, Einstein's theories would be shown to be incomplete and some parts would need to be rewritten. If Einstein's theory is incorrect, it would mean that time travel would be possible both forwards and backwards. This would aid space exploration and allow us to visit more star systems. We would actually be able to arrive in a place before we left. Now this is theoretically possible because when you travel close to the speed of light, time slows down around you. When you travel at the speed of light, time pauses, and when you exceed the speed of light, time reverses in direction. CERN is the largest experiment ever conducted and is playing a key role in uncovering new areas of modern physics. The results they get in the next decade will be vital in the development of our knowledge of how our world works. After our visit to CERN, we gained an insight how to our world-leading scientists are constantly striving to further our research about the universe about how they never treat their findings as fact, instead only confirming their results once the scientific community have confirmed them. One of the main lessons we learned from our trip was that no matter how much we learn about our universe, there is always more to discover. Thank you. <laughs> 